Welcome to this short video where we will demonstrate how to generate a DWG file from a architect's PDF. Then we will properly scale the DWG so that it will match the real world scale that it was drawn in. After opening the PDF with PDF to DWG, you will save each page in a location where you will be able to find the DWG. On the floor plan page, the entire floor plan was in one scale, but you will have some pages of drawings that will have multiple scaled viewports that were created in AutoCAD on the same page, quarter inch, half inch, one inch. These will all have to be scaled individually once you have created your DWG and open the file in AutoCAD. Now that you have your AutoCAD DWGs ready for editing, you can open up one of the pages. Here we have the floor plan and we will scale this one first to show you how this works. I will clear away some of the extra lines and text that I don't need and that would possibly throw off the scale first. Next we will find a known dimension on the DWG. Now this likely will not measure accurately yet because we have not scaled it. So you will need to use your measure tool and measure what it currently measures. We have a number here of 172.320 inches. So we will take the number we know divided by what the current measurement is and that will give us our scale factor when we go to scale the drawing. So now we will select the entire floor plan we will type in the command prompt scale, select a point somewhere in the drawing and start to drag at an angle, then type in the value from the calculator that is our scale factor, in this case 1.3347609. Now we will zoom in and measure the line and see that its new value is exactly 19 feet 2 inches or 230 inches. So our drawing is now properly scaled for use.